What's up everyone? Welcome to Buy Me PC and thanks heaps for checking out this video. Um, I recently struck a problem with 3D Mark and Nvidia where it kept coming up with an LOD error um, at the end of each benchmark. So a lot of other people have been having this problem as well. So I was able to change a few of the settings around and figure out the problem and the issue. So I'm going to guide you through in this video how to change them and what to change them to not only will you be able to submit your score now with 3d mark after these settings but you will also have more frames per second as well so you're benefiting in two ways it's it's a bonus really um so without further ado let's get into the video so when 3d mark is open you can go to run but basically what this is going to do is add a demo which adds an extra five minutes to your benchmark which you don't want to do it adds it at the start it's just a full demo of you being able to watch the whole thing all you want to do is you want to get into doing the benchmark seeing what the scoring is seeing how many frames per second all of that seeing how good your pc runs but that's it um it gets a bit old obviously watching it over and over again so to turn that off you want to go up here to benchmarks now whichever one you've chosen um just go to details now include demo no so do what i've done turn it off and uh, you don't get that demo anymore and basically all we want is this graphics test and cpu test so turning that off it'll go straight to these two tests and boom it'll be so much quicker so and also don't do custom run um this here stops you from being able to compete against your friends with the scoring or go into this hall of fame top five um, just do the normal one and turn this off and it will save you time. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. Um, we're going to skip to the end in this video and then you're able to see that I'm getting the same issue that you're getting. Um, because at the moment we're obviously not able to load it on anyway, even if we do the custom run or if we just do the normal one. Um, that LOD error keeps popping up. So... I'm just going to show you that I'm getting this error, and uh, yeah, then um, we'll learn how to fix it. And I have finished the benchmark. So here's my score at the top, and here's that annoying error message that keeps popping up. So the LOD settings modified by NVIDIA driver result invalid. Check your video driver settings. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this error message so we can submit our score to the world to your best friend, compete against your best friend, or your mum, or your dad, or your grandma, or maybe you just want to be in that Hall of Fame top five, um, which I will never be able to be in, because this is a really depressing score, and it's 30,000 off the top five. So, unless I majorly upgrade this PC, I'm not getting anywhere near that. So, let's go to the control panel, and what you're probably going to see, or before that actually, it's either going to be in here, in the bottom right, just click this arrow, or type in NVIDIA control panel in the search button there, or you can right click on the desktop, and it will bring it up in here. So, that's just letting you know where it is. But anyway, what you're probably first going to see is this. This is what it will probably bring up when you first open it up. So... It'll either say, let the 3D application decide, or it'll either be on that, or use the advanced 3D image settings, or use my preference emphasizing either quality, performance, or in between. Now, you want the center one. You want this, this second one here. So click on that, and either take click me there, or go up into the far left here, and up the top, and it will say manage 3D settings, so click that. So what I've done is I've already actually put in the settings and applied them. Um, obviously I did it after this benchmark, but I did it so then we can just look at this and you guys can see it, copy it straight into your settings and boom, it'll be all fixed for you. So the ambient occlusion will be off. The filtering will be application controlled. The FX AA will be off. The gamma correction will be on. The mode application controlled, uh, the transparency will be off, 
the GPUs will be all, the factors will be off. Now I'm just going to scroll down. And the maximum pre-rendered frames will be 1. The monitor technology will be fixed refresh. Now, the reason why I put it to fixed refresh, because G-Sync compatible, when I had it on that, it does come up with a, a little error that's in here, just underneath this time spy here, um, on 3D Mark, and it will say um, you're scoring, I don't know, your scoring may be changed because G-Sync's on. So you just go to fix refresh and it doesn't come up and that's yeah you don't have any problems then um the mfaa will be off the opengl rendering gpu will be auto select the power management mode will be prefer maximum performance the preferred refresh rate will be application controlled the shader cache will be on now these texture filtering the four of them here so the first one will be on second one will be allow third one will be high performance fourth one will be on and threaded optimization will be auto triple buffering will be off vertical sync will be off make sure you turn that off um, virtual reality pre-rendered frames will be one just leave it at one then click apply which should be down here so click apply it'll flash a wee bit the screen and yeah then it will be applied um after that then go to configure surround physics and over here in the right go down to your graphics card so it'll either be on auto select cpu or graphics card now you want it on your graphics card so click it on that and just keep it there so after that another apply box will come up click apply and then everything's done it's all finished so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a benchmark now another one just to show you that it is legit and it actually works um just so you know that i'm not trying to waste your time and pull your middle leg but anyway i'm going to go and do that i'm going to go and run this benchmark and i will show you afterwards so see you in a second so there we have it finished the benchmark got the score it's increased and it's valid no more lod error messages popping up so thanks everyone for watching i'm really hoping this helped um make sure you like and subscribe because i'm going to be making more videos in the future um thanks everyone for your support and i'll see you next time